Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews. Starting out another review with a Patreon shout out. This time to a couple of my long standing uh, VIP patrons. So we got Nathan Everson and uh, Nick Saxby. Both of you guys have been around for like three months now, almost even four months now, I think. Really appreciate all the support. It's really helped the channel out a lot. And uh, I really hope that these videos have helped you guys find bags that uh, help you a lot and also help you in possible learning in your blind draws and events going on. So really appreciate your constant support and I hope you guys enjoy this review. Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, coming back at you with another review. Before we get started, I got a couple cool announcements. So as you can see, I got new boards. So sick boards with my logo on them. You're gonna be seeing them in every video from here coming forward. Sent to me and sponsored by Queen City Yard Game Company. So Queen City, they make insane quality boards. These boards are ridiculous. I mean, the double leg, which you can see, but double support brace underneath. These things weigh about 30 pounds each. You know, you got your three quarter inch Baltic. They're just so professionally made. They don't scoot, they don't slide, don't bounce. They're just so true. and. They just play so much better than any other boards that I've played on. So really highly recommend I'll have the link to their page in the description below. Uh, they're on Facebook. They have a website. They, they sell bags. They sell boards. They sell bomb boxes, accessories, Zuka bags. They really do a little bit of everything. Check them out. These boards are amazing and really worth it. Um, I also have a Patreon. Uh, it's patreon.com slash Cornell Bag Reviews. Link will be in the description below. Do some stuff with shoutouts and patches, but just really helps support the channel, helps me get more bags to review. And I'm also working with Gladiator Cornhole. So you guys will start seeing in all these reviews. And if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll see that I've been wearing a Cornhole glove. This glove is game changing for me. I really like the fact that I don't have to worry about my sweat on bags. Just gives me a lot of confidence. I'll have a link in the description below with code Eddie10 for 10% off. Um, on all of Gladiator stuff, but you so if you use the link below, you support the channel. Same with the code. Um, if you're if you have damp hands or you wanted to try something out, they're definitely worth trying. Not too expensive. I really really highly recommend. But all right, all that out of the way, we got the Executioner by Slingshot Cornhole. Uh, this bag is a really nice friendly carpet bag. You know we have a lot of friendly carpet bags. This one's a little bit more on the floppier side. That goes into the reason that I like my break in method on them. You know so. This carpet, when you get it, it's that hybrid carpet, you know, Elevation Cornhole uses it. it. It's really, really stiff. Like it's almost like uncomfortable to hold when you get it. It's just, you have to work it in. I think I did two rounds of wrinkle guard and I've thrown the living crap out of them and now they're floppy. But I mean, it, just because of the template side and the bead, bead type, I mean, these things are very floppy for a carpet bag, but that really lends into the playability. You know, you're looking at that small disc fill, so you're not looking at like a puffy BG style carpet. This is more like you want a consistent speeded bag with a good push side that, you know, stays consistent and is super forgiving to throw as a beginner carpet. So speeds, you're looking in the 5.8 range, the fast side, you're looking at that game changer surefire material that everybody's using. Slow side again, that carpet. Um, the crunchier hybrid carpet. But now that I have it softened up, which takes a while, they feel great. They play really, really nice. In terms of the design, so this is his executioner design. It's got the eyes in the background with the trees and whatnot. He put a little, put my logo on the bottom corner for me. Um, but cool design. Um, he's got a bunch of different colorways. Uh, ACL comp stamped, so they do have a stamp. Um, you know, and if you're looking at price point, there are 60 bucks plus shipping off the website. So not expensive, you know, really high quality bag with a stamp by a really good guy, um, really friendly carpet bag. So, all right, we'll get into throwing some shots here. So as you can see, I am back home for the holidays and I am in my parents' shop recording. So a bunch of other stuff in the, uh, in the way here, but start nice little one in the hole, but a um, little more equi, but it, you know, living in the Midwest, you're just gonna have some cold weather, so you need to be able to have a spot to record. But as you can see, I missed that one off the back. That was really bad. But they're, the speeds are very friendly on these. They slide true, they slide really straight, and they're not overly fast. I think, you know, a lot of people, the reason that I think the um, hybrid carpet is becoming popular, and I didn't really understand the reason behind hybrid carpet, because I was like, well, it doesn't flop and roll the same. It's because with humidity changing and on boards that are really fast, it gives you a consistent speeded bag, a little bit off the back there, um, without, you know, sacrificing um, in humidity. These things will still, I can still cut these things really nicely, um, but the, uh, 
a little bit hard. The floppiness really lends to the hole friendliness. Um, I mean, you get these things close to the hole, they just melt in. They throw really nice and the push side, you know, everyone's using that eight speed at fast side for a reason. It pushes through really well, you know, slide around and drop super easily. We'll go some fast side. These things are gonna be lightning, but we'll try to loft them. Yeah. <laughs> the fast side is really fast. Hey, you guys can't tell in here, but I got 20 foot ceilings and I am way up. Go back to the slow side here. Oh, yikes. Okay, let's finish up here. The, uh, if you've ever played, oh, okay. Well, no fast side for now. If you ever played in like a open room like this, your depth perception gets kind of screwed up and it makes the boards look like they're crazy far away. But then when you throw, they aren't. So right, let's try to get back on track here. But you guys knew in my other reviews, throwing slump. I feel like I've dialed it back a little bit and I've been able to stay more consistent. That one's a good block. Let's see if I can go for a push here. Oh, nice, pulled it a little closer. I could still go. I might try to cut collect that. Oh, a little bit off to the left. Let's go for an airmail here. A little deep. But I really like this bag. You know, it's another small company. You know, I talk about it all the time. I really like reviewing smaller companies' bags because there's just a lot of really good people in Cornhole that aren't, you know, at the forefront of a lot of conversations that are making a really high quality bag. There's a couple locals that actually threw, I saw them throwing these executioners and I was like, dang, like somebody heard about them, you know? So they had some and see, there's the controllable speed. Let's see if I can uh, grab that, that's pretty far out. Oh, I went for it a little too hard, bounced over the bag a little bit. Yeah, I went for it again. Let's go fast side, clean that up. Oh, come on. Did fall in though. They are whole friendly. These boards are playing pretty quick right now in here. I'm gonna do another down and back. I haven't really done tons of warm up today, so not throwing the greatest at the moment, but starting to feel a little bit better. Got a bunch of reviews I'm gonna pop out today. A little right. There we go, that looks better. There we go. Starting to warm up a little bit. Oh, never mind. And right again, we'll fit it. Go fast side here. There it is, fast side. Best part about fast side, you know, I don't know if you guys have what I have, but when I get to that fourth bag, especially when I'm on a four bagger, um, coming into the last bag, I always short it. I don't know why, I just leave it a little short. So sometimes switch to that fast side, just giving you that whole friendliness. You know, just in case you're short arming it, it'll get up there for you. There we go. Slide up there nice. Getting a little more warmed up here. But I love these new boards, guys. They are killer. All right, airmail to finish. There we go. Four bag with an airmail to finish. See, I told you, I'm getting warmed up. I'm getting there, but I guess we'll come down to one more down to finish here. Ugh. Nice round to get there. One more. Nice, slinky in there, even with carpet, you know, just very friendly carpet. There we go. Getting warmed up now. Oh, a little off the side. Go for one more email. Oh, I wish I could end on the, on the last down. The last down is way better than this one, but. Here we go, guys. The uh, Executioners by Slingshot Cornhole. Really nice forgiving carpet bag. If, you're in, if you like a floppier bag, but you wanna try carpet, or you want something that's in that consistent speed range and you like it a little floppier, try these out. They're really nice for 60 bucks. Good price point, ACL comp stamped. Um, I, I really enjoy them, but I'm telling you guys, you gotta break these in. Wrinkle guard them, soften them up. This is dense, dense carpet. It's really rough when you first get it. So, but, it will get a lot better. Mine's really soft now. Like it was almost uncomfortable in the hands. Now that I got it broken in, they feel and play really, really nice. So appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. We got a lot of bags coming your way. If there's something you want to see, drop it down in the comment section below. I'll try to get as many bags as I can, but hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.